second name is Don Corleone. Okay? Don Corleone. Okay, thank you. I wasn't quite sure what he's done. Keep up. Luigi and Mario, okay? They have not spoken to each other for five years because Luigi owes Mario 5,000 pounds, okay? After many rows and many arguments, one day Mario said, Luigi, I've had enough. I want my money. I don't want to wait anymore. So Luigi said, listen, Mario, I've got no money. I've got no work. But if you come to a house, maybe there's something in the house you can have so we can reduce the money I owe you, okay? Right, I'll be there tomorrow morning. He went to his house, he couldn't believe it. He walked everywhere. Luigi, why do you make me come to your house? You got no furniture, you got no money, you got nothing. What the hell do you make me come here for? You got all to hear me, you got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> Luigi said, this young woman, Mary, I'm sorry, I am poor, I got no money, I got nothing. I tell you what, I got my lovely dog over there. You see my dog there? You can have my dog. I want your dog, I want my money. Take my dog and give me whatever you like. Five, ten pounds, twenty pounds, whatever you want. I don't believe this. So I went to stroke the dog. It's a beautiful dog, but I want this dog, Luigi. I want my money. So Luigi says, okay, Mario, I compromise. You don't want my dog? I got no furniture, I got no money. I tell you what, go upstairs. My wife is in bed, okay? Go and have a look at my wife, okay? If you fancy my wife, you can have her, I give it to you. <laughs> give me 1,000 pounds and she's yours. My dear Luigi, this is a brilliant idea. He ran upstairs, open the door, look at the wife, come down. Can I look at that dog again? <laughs> Welcome to Susan from Kudeka. Well, a little bit serious at the moment because obviously we're here to support Kudeka and um, it's thanks to people like you, the community, that uh, we're able to do our work. Uh, at the moment, we have over 400 patients we are looking after through our medical teams, doctors and nurses who are out visiting people in their own homes. We also have people in the hospice, we have nine beds there. 400 people at home and only nine beds, but uh, that means that people are able to stay at home where they want to be until the end. <laughs> Now it's thanks to Sandro, his staff, the the staff here, the staff in, in the uh, in the kitchen, it's there. all the artists, uh, people who are supporting us, uh, and thank you very much. Thank you for supporting today. Enjoy the evening, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.
gentlemen, would you give us a nice warm welcome to the first act on the stage tonight, Miss Zoe Hughes. I need a volunteer. In fact, I tell you what, every table in the room, like they used to be in every village in the UK, there was an idiot. So, I want you to decide between yourselves who is your table idiot. What do you mean your table idiot in the toilet?
on the agenda. I knew nothing about it until just now. But you remember the UK comedian that was the name Stan Borkman? Tell 